Hey, this is Tony over at Lone Wolf Paintball. Today I'm going to be doing a quick overview of the E-Tech 5 that's been out here on the market for months now. This is the original box that the gun comes in. Comes with a nice protective carrying case on there. Like I said earlier, this gun has been out on the market for quite a while now. Just doing a quick recap of uh, the couple features of the gun and how I like it. Comes with a nice shaft four barrel, two piece barrel. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to get this right first. Couple features of the gun, like I just stated, it is a two-piece shaft four barrel on there. It does have LV1 like qualities. It's got the new style LV1 grip and also the LV1 front grip on there. It still does have the macro line assembly compared to the LV1 that has the actual um, macroless transfer tube here. I do like this gun. It's a lot quieter than the other E-Techs that have come out on the past E-Tech, the original E-Tech, the E-Tech 2, E-Tech 3. Even the E-Tech 4, obviously, this is the newest one. This is new, it's super comfortable compared to the older style grips that just had, they didn't have this at all. It was just, a, you're holding on to a metal regulator. So these new style grips, it's more comfortable for the player. It's on the newest Planet Eclipse guns, the LV1s, the Geo 3.5s, stuff like that. The next best thing about this gun is the Zik 3 rammer in here. So. Your rammer is going to sit right in the back of here, makes the gun a lot <clears throat> less noisy. This gun shoots way quieter than the E-Tex of the past. One of the biggest key points of this gun is that it is, is a poppet valve. It is not a spool valve gun. Technically, I believe they call it an inline poppet, which trajectory of the paintball is a lot straighter coming out compared to a spool valve, in my opinion. This is more... Comparable to an autococker shot, it's got a lot flatter shot than a normal spool valve. That's going to be a, a good selling point, then there it is. It's a very, very straight shot coming out of this gun, and it, a lot, it is a lot less quieter than the other previous E-Tech models. And uh, overall, I think Planet Eclipse hit it out of the park with this gun. It does retail at $549. Uh, compared to an LV1, which is going to cost you a minimum of $1,000. They do come in a variety of colors. I think there's at least close to 10 color schemes. This one, personally, is the HDE camo that Planet Eclipse offers. If you're looking to get a high-end tournament marker for a lower price, I would certainly suggest this gun. It's great. Like I said, it's $549. We also have another upgraded feature on here. For $80 more, you can get the OLED board, which actually you can replace the board that's in here and you can have a digital readout of what mode it's in, how many balls per second you're shooting, um, what your dwell set at, et cetera, et cetera. So the OLED board is a great option that's gonna sit right here in the back of the gun for you. If you like this video, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.